Readings YouTube. Today we're looking at these, and these are Moldex pocket uh, pack earplugs. And here was what the earplugs look like right here. They are purple with green, and I happen to like that combo. And I use earplugs at work on a regular basis. Uh, not every day, to, um, but there are a number of jobs that we have at work where I have to use an air hose every single cycle. Um, and when I'm using an air hose on every single cycle, I put air, earplugs in. I encourage my coworkers to put earplugs in too because hearing loss is not something you get back. And these air hoses put, are putting out 60 pounds of pressure. And when you're blowing flash and stuff out of a mold and the molds are full of cavities um, designed that way, and you just, that air hose hits one of those cavities and it is just a whistle. It'll just cut right through your head. So I encourage people to use uh, earplugs. And I normally would wear earplugs of the foam variety, which is the company provides us free of charge. Um, the problem is, is that the pure foam ones, I think they're too soft and I have a hard time getting them in. And sometimes you get, we, sometimes we get ones that have the string attaching to them. And I like those because I can cut the string off till it's about this long. And that both makes them easier to get in because the little plastic line that, it, that, that, it, that would normally attach to them gives them a little more internal rigidity. Also, it means at the end of the day, I can take them out. Now, why do I say at the end of the day? Because when I have foam earplugs, they go in at the beginning of my shift and I do not remove them. Why? Because the foam irritates my ear channel, ear canal when I'm taking them in and out. So to minimize that, I only put them in once, and I don't take them out once. These are soft, smooth silicone. They do not cause me irritation going in and out of my ear. Um, as far as the seal goes, the first time I use these, I have a pair here at home and I have a pair at work, um, they uh, sealed as well as a set of foam earplugs would when they are initially placed in. And just like the foam ones, if you take them out and put them back in, you never really get the same perfect seal. And that's kind of the situation here. Um, also, I discovered, because these things held their shape, is that my left ear canal apparently is somewhat oblong shaped. It's not as round as my right one. Um, I didn't ever really notice that before, because you don't notice it when I have the foam ones. Um, so I'm really happy with this design. I like the fact that they're rigid. I can get them in and out. Um, they give a good seal. Um, they are rated for 27 decibels, I believe, which is a good knockdown when you're doing, uh, working in an industrial environment. Um, and they're reusable, so I'm not going to have to, it, I'm putting less waste into the, the stream. And I picked these up off of Amazon for $6.35 shipping included, and that was two pair. So $3.12 for a pair of reusable earplugs that... And I don't know how long they're going to last yet. I've, I've only worn them a couple of times at work. Um, I'm doing this video simply because today I thought of it. And there's another reason I'm doing this video. Because I've noticed over the years that some people just do not know how to put earplugs in. They kind of like do this thing and think they have an earplug in their ear. That's, that's, that's not an earplug in your ear. You aren't doing anything when you do that. So I'm going to demonstrate how to properly put an earplug into one's ear. So if you are a person that wears glasses, and at my company, everybody wears safety glasses. You have no choice. <clears throat> I wear prescription safety glasses at work. They have little side shields and everything. They're quite nice. Um, you take your glasses off because you want your you want nothing on your head. And you're going to do is you're going to take this in the hand that is the side you're putting the earplug in. You're going to take your other hand. And you're going to lift your ear and you're going to pull it up. Then you take the earplug, take the earplug in, and I like to put the earplug in so it's about even with the tip of my ear right there. For me, that's a good solid seal. You do occasionally get a little air pressure in there, but that's the way it is. And then again, take the earplug in the hand, it's on, pull up on your ear. And there you go. And nice and quiet. And I find them comfortable. Because they're silicone, I can take them out on break as opposed to the foam ones, which I would leave in all day long. And I knew I knew these on break. 
uh, to listen to a radio, and I would have to crank the volume up really high uh, to be able to hear the music just to block out the sound of the room. <clears throat> so yes, I really do endorse earplugs for safety reasons. There we go. I equalize the ear pressure. Um, and you can just rinse these off with water um, or a tissue or something like that. To um, uh, I would not want to use any kind of strong soaps, um, but very something mild, very mild stuff, that would be fine for these things. Um, just make sure that you, they are going to be dry before you put them back in your ear because you really don't want to be sticking water, in, forcing water into your ear canal. It's not good for you. I mean, possibility of an ear infection, that kind of thing. Um, let me put my glasses on so things aren't blurry. Hey, <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, I like these earplugs. I think that they're quite comfortable. Now, the one thing I haven't tried yet, I haven't tried sleeping in them because there are times when I'm at home and it's noisy that I would sleep with foam earplugs. So I don't know if the foam earplugs are going to be superior to these for sleeping because this shaft is a little more rigid. It's going to be probably, it's going to be a little less of a give and the foam ones, again, I even if I have this little, the little plastic tail on there that I've, I've left, um, it, it lies much flatter when I'm lying on a pillow. Um, but there are times, because I do sleep in the daytime, when it's noisy outside, particularly um, if you have the windows open uh, at night, if you have the, and a fan going, you can't, I mean, or actually not at night, but well, in the evening when I'm taking a nap before work, um, sometimes it can be quite noisy, so I will occasionally wear earplugs when I'm sleeping. Um, in fact, at one time, I was living in a place where they did construction on my street for like five frigging weeks. I mean, literally, a, a hole the size of a semi was dug into my street every day, and then they would cover it up with steel plates, and they'd come back the next day and do it some more. I wore a lot of earplugs during that time, and they were the disposable variety. So I've rambled on long enough about earplugs. Um, I endorse people wearing them, protect your hearing. Once you lose it, you don't ever get it back. It does not regenerate. Um, so take care of your ears. And I like this model. They're quite comfortable. And again, this is the Moldex Pocket Pack. Um, and it's strangely very attractive packaging. It's got like a, a jeweled edge and stuff. Just it went to like a lot of effort to make this a very attractive, uh, recyclable um, package. So you can throw that into your pocket, or in my case, my uh, bedside table or my toolbox at work. So there you go, folks. Protect your hearing. Wear earplugs. These are good ones. <laughs>